writing books, having a group of students already created can make your workload a lot more efficient. To create a student group, at the top of your teacher account, click Roster, and you should see all of the students that you have set up in your class. To create a group, click Create Group, and you will choose a name for your group name. I like how Epic reminds you that the group names will be visible to students, so just be mindful of the group names that you choose. We're gonna use playing card names since that would be kind of a fun way to group your students. So I already have a group named Diamonds. I am going to name a group Spades and then Create. Now I have um, all the students in my class. Right now there are new, no students in my group. So I'm gonna select the students that I want to be assigned to this group and then click Done. Students can be a part of more than one group. So if you are grouping students for multiple reasons, multiple subjects, that is something also really great to keep in mind. Now, when I'm assigning books, I'm gonna show you a little trick that helps me keep track of my differentiated book collections. I'm going to go to my library and I've already created collections that I wanna share with my groups. You'll notice that I have three polar bear collections. They all have the same name. However, all three of these collections are different. I know that they are different because I searched for the books that I wanted, and then I added in these stars at the beginning. For my teacher's sake, uh, collections with one star are my students who need more support, two stars are grade level, and three stars are a bit above. Now, when I send collections to students, it will pop up in their mailbox, which you can't see right here, but in their student account, they have a mailbox. They will all have a collection that says polar bears, but I know that I'm assigning the correct collection because of my little star system, and it's just really great that way. So let's say I want to assign this um, above level collection with one of my groups. I'm going to click Assign and View Progress. And up here, this is showing me all my students. I can do the individual student thing, but like I said, I wanna share with a specific group. So I'm gonna share this with my diamonds. This is a collection that works perfectly for them. I can select all. Um, also, if you didn't have time to switch a student out of that group, you can uncheck them. But just to make your job a lot easier, they give you this grouping option. Just make sure you click assign and that collection will be assigned to those students in that group. And they, like I said, they will find it in their student mailbox.